What's up everybody and welcome back to my channel once more. In today's video, I'm gonna show you how to make this beautiful focaccia bread from scratch and believe it or not, it might be a lot easier to make than you think. Plus, there's so many ways to use this bread, it's kind of overwhelming in the most delicious way possible. All right, let's dive into the recipe, folks. Okay, so the first thing you want to get started is to activate the dry active yeast with some warm water and a little sugar or honey. I like using brown sugar because it possesses a more caramelized flavor um, that I particularly enjoy. Let this mixture sit for about 15 to 20 minutes in a warm area in the kitchen until it starts to develop a foam on top. Once the yeast is alive and well, add it to your electric mixer bowl or it can be easily kneaded by hand. But if you do have it in a mixer bowl, turn on the speed to low using the hook attachment and begin to add your flour a cup at a time until it's fully incorporated. I use about a one to three ratio of bread to all purpose flour, uh, but using pure all purpose flour is just fine. It just might be a little more cake-like than chewy. Also, don't forget to add a drizzle of olive oil as the dough is coming together. Once the dough has been formed into a shiny, smooth ball, turn up the speed to medium and continue for another three to four minutes until the dough has some stretch to it when pulled on. When the dough is at that point, you're gonna oil your baking tray, or in this case, a Dutch oven, with a generous amount of olive oil and place the dough in the center. Mold the dough to conform to the shape of the pan and then cover it with a lid or a damp cloth and let it sit in a warm spot for 15 to 20 minutes to double in size. Once that you can tell that the dough has risen significantly um, and has doubled in size and is soft to the touch, start to texture the dough with your fingers by pressing in little indentations as evenly as you can throughout the dough. Then you're gonna to top it with fresh rosemary leaves. Um, you could even add some fresh thyme as well olive oil, and some flaky Maldon salt. You're gonna bake this focaccia in an oven that's set to 350 degrees Fahrenheit and bake for about five to seven minutes. Then turn the heat up to 450 degrees Fahrenheit and continue to bake for another five to seven minutes or until the top is a solid golden brown. When the focaccia is done, you're gonna remove it from the oven and let it cool for a minute or two. Um, as an easy side dipping sauce, you can crush a little bit of garlic clove with some torn basil and pour a generous drizzle of olive oil and good balsamic vinegar over the top. Tear up some of that freshly baked focaccia bread and enjoy a delicious warming experience. And that's it, homemade focaccia. All right, guys, uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed my take on focaccia. Pretty traditional way of making focaccia. Um, I love this round Dutch oven look with the focaccia. Sometimes people do it in big sheet trays, which is, uh, which is fine. Uh, but this is beautiful, nice and bubbly, airy bread, nice and chewy with the addition of the bread flour. So I'm gonna dive in and tell you guys how it turned out. Oh, yeah. This is a great little mix too with the olive oil garlic and the basil. You could do this with a lot of different aromatics. Mm. This is something that I crave when I go to a really good Italian place. Oh man, this is killer. Olive oil, vinegar, garlic, and basil. It's, it's way better than just the olive oil and um, balsamic that we're used to. And you could even amp this up by adding like a, like a homemade pesto or even a store-bought pesto. A little bit of olive oil, a little bit of vinegar, homemade pesto, super killer. Really simple recipe. This is one of my quick videos, uh, one of my quicker videos. This turned out great, nice and cri uh, crispy on the top if you can hear that. You can hear the 
super crunchy topping. It does mellow out if you put it in the fridge. This does last well. Um, it has a pretty good shelf life. I wouldn't eat it after a few days or so just because it gets a little tough. Um, you could use this for so many different things, pizza dough, flatbreads, um, you know, just table bread like I'm, I'm using it right now. Um, you could use it for croutons, different salad preparations. Uh, super universal bread. I know a lot of you guys are familiar with focaccia and you have your own recipes and ways of doing it. This is a, a, a classic recipe, so a lot of folks are used to their uh, particular way of focaccia. So I definitely recommend you guys trying this out. Just give it a go, super easy. Doesn't take that long other than the proofing, the baking time. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, subscribe to my channel, give this video a like. Uh, comment down below for future video requests, things you wanna see on my channel. Check the description box for equipment links, things that I, uh, equipment that I enjoy using and the ingredients for this recipe down at the bottom. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys next time with another recipe. Later folks.